I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you have a set at home, this is a great way to practice decision making, especially if your group plays with a fond minimum. I like to play at Mahjong time and they have tables with a three fond minimum. So for this game, we're going to say there's a three fond minimum. If you haven't downloaded the player reference yet, look for a link below the video so you can follow along with this game. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. Southwest and North will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand and see where the potential is for those three fawn. Okay, everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. We have two flowers, a four and a two. This is player one, so we're not going to get score for those. Okay, we have two bams, four dots, six cracks, and single honors. The east could bring score because this is player one. And that's East. We're going to say it's the East round. So if we pair up and Pung, that could give them two Fawn. One for their seat, one for the wind of the round. We do have a Chow, seven, eight, nine. There's a potential Chow there. You could break that up into a potential Chow and a potential Chow here. We also have a pair. Any pair is a potential Pung. So there's lots of options there with the cracks. I think what I would do is hold this pair of dots, go for half flush to get to three fawn. If we pair up more, leverage the pair here and do all pung, all three of a kind. If you're going to do all pung, you really should start with four pair and we only have two. So I would call that part of plan B. I think I would discard these first. Go for a half flush with cracks, cracks and honors. Any combination of winds and dragons are honors. So that's, I think, the plan for player one or east. Let's look and see what we can do for south. They have a two flower. That's their seat. One, two. They're going to get a fawn for that. There's another flower. That's a three flower. They won't get score for that. Oh, you know what? We have to wait. You have to wait until the other players get their flowers before you replace a flower from the back of the wall. So we'll hold that for a minute, see if these guys have any flowers. So I think what I would try here is probably, let's see, we have two pair. I think I want to wait and see what happens with that flower. We have one fawn with a flower. All chow would be a fawn. That's two fawn. We need more score. So I don't think I would try for all chow here unless we get our own flower. We'll have to wait and see. Let's see what we can do with West tile now. One and four. This is seat three, so we're not going to get score for these. There's another flower. That's their flower. Seat three. Three flower. So they're going to get score for that, but we're going to wait because we got that as a replacement tile. We have to wait until this player gets theirs. So let's wait and see. Here, 
we have a mixture, one BAM, four dots, five cracks, single honors. We do have two pair in here, in one suit even. I think I might try to push uh, all pung or half flesh, five discards so that's not good. Everybody's in a really rough spot actually. Let's look and see what we can do for north. No flowers. They have a no flower fawn. If you have no flowers, you get a fawn for that. So they have one fawn already. We also have three pair here. One, two, three. This is north seat. These, this is a pair of west. That won't bring them score, but if you get all three of a kind or all pung, that's three fawn. The no value wins won't matter. You just won't get score, but it'll help you get to all three of a kind. So I think probably what I would do here is hold BAMs, discard the six crack, see if we pair up for all Pung. We do have two potential chows and a chow right there, two, three, four. But you don't want to mix pungs and chows and mix suits. All these number tiles would be of no value if you do that. You need to do either all pung in mixed suits or all pung in one suit, what have you. You just don't want to mix chows with pungs in all three suits or even two suits because that will give you zero value with your number tiles. The only way you can get score if you mix chows and pungs and mix suits is with your honors. And in this case, these are no value. So this would equate to a chicken hand if we went with this chow, for example. So you don't want to do that. It looks good, but it's of no value. So we're going to continue replacing flowers. We'll start with this player. You go in order. So we're going to take a replacement tile for this flower for south. And we got a six BAM. So they have their own flower and chow potential. We'll have to see what's gonna happen here. They do have chow potential all through in here. All chows, one fawn. They only have two fawn right now. If we can get their flower, the two, oh, the two flower is with east. So they're not gonna get that. They won't get their second flower. There's only two of each. So they will not get a, a fawn for that other flower. So we have to do all pung or focus on a suit or get a valued honor. They have a lot of work to do here. Let's get a replacement for West. Three crack, okay, that was a good pick for them because now they have another crack to work with. Here's a chow, three, four, five. There's a chow here, four, five, six. They have two chows already. So let's just wait and see what happens. Out of all these hands, probably this player's the best off because they have six cracks with pungs or potential pungs here with the pairs. I'd say they're probably in the best shape at the moment, followed by this player Actually, no, let's see. Yeah, this player, because they've got three pair. They just need to pair up one more time for a good start with all Pung. So we're gonna start here by discarding. We're gonna try to do a half flush with cracks. So let's go ahead and discard nine, crack, nine BAM, that's a nine BAM. So nine BAM was discarded. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. It's South's turn, we're gonna draw. White Dragon, that could help them get to a half flush. Or if we pair up that dragon, we could maybe get score for that. We have to decide right now. I'm thinking we need to go for all Pung. Since this West is not gonna bring us any value, let's discard the West. We're gonna pung up here. Turns get skipped, so we're gonna pung right here. 
come and now we're going to discard the south that won't bring them any value let's draw down here oh three crack oh that looks good for half flesh south was discarded but there's still two more we could pair up let's discard the three bam nobody can take the three bam so we'll draw for south red dragon that's a dragon any pung of dragons can bring score so we're going to hold that as a single it's not going to help we need to pair up and then pung so we need to decide now what to discard so let's see a south is out a three bam and a nine bam we need to pung and pair up so let's go ahead and just start discarding a suit see if we can draw in either uh, dots or cracks let's draw eight dot nope not helpful let's get rid of this one bam though that's not helpful at all up here we want to pung you don't want to chow you could chow here one two three but if you mix pungs and chows and mix suits that's going to be a chicken hand we don't want to do that we're going to draw five dot that's not helpful really none of these tiles we need to pair up so at this point let's discard the three bam there's already one out there's only four of every tile so we'll get rid of that we're going to draw four east four bam let's discard that nobody can take it so we'll draw for south eight dot we need to pair up these single tiles are not going to be helpful we have more dots now than we do anything else though let's discard the eight bam hold the pair here in case we pair up we can pung eight bam nobody can take it so we'll draw for west five bam up here don't be tempted to chow they really can't anyway we have a four or five you don't want to chow we need to pair up and pung they got a south we already threw that that's a bummer okay down here two souths are out one bam is out also we can throw that drawing for south four dot okay now they do have more dots than anything else let's hold on to the seven bam pair there see if we pair up some more let's go ahead and discard the eight crack for south we'll get rid of these cracks so eight crack down here we can pung if we pung that there's only one more eight crack these would be isolated and i think the chances of getting that eight crack is pretty slim i don't think i would pung i would hold this for chow or pear so there's a chow right there seven eight nine so instead of punging with that pair leaving a chow with a seven eight nine who knows if we're going to get that eight crack i think i would wait so eight crack was discarded by south it's this player's turn nobody else can take it we're going to draw green dragon that could help if we can pair up right now there are no dragons out we have more cracks than we do dots there are no dots out right now let's go ahead and discard the five dot if nothing else if we pair these up and pung we could maybe get score there and chow these there's a chow potential in there too but i would call that plan b it's always good to have a plan b okay so five dot was thrown nobody can take it so we're going to draw north that's their seat let's hold it let's get rid of this five dot 
Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw. You would think, well, why not chow? Here we have a three, four, five. Well, we could do three, four, five dot. You can only chow from the player on your left. This player threw it. So this player cannot chow from this player. You can only chow from the player on your left. So we're going to draw for east. Nine dot. We don't need that. We want cracks or pair up. Nine dot. Nobody can take. We're going to draw. Green dragon, single dragon. That's pretty rough right there. Let's discard this one crack. So one crack discarded. This player can pung. Let's pung. There's the second pung now for north. They need to pair up some more. That north can bring them score. Right now they have a west and a pung of cracks. Let's go ahead and discard the eight bam because that's already out. The four bam is out too, so that'll be a good discard probably. Let's draw four east, north. These single honors are gonna hurt if we can't pair up. Let's discard the eight dot. And draw four south. Five crack. We started getting rid of these cracks and we're holding dots because here they have chow potential. Here, here, here. Three, four, five. Five, six, seven. Four, five, six. There are two five dots out right now, so it's getting a bit slim. We need three fawn though. They have one fawn with their flower, so. All chow in mixed suits is not going to cut it for them. That would only give them two fawn. Also, they only have two pair. So all pung is a long shot at this point. I think we need to stick with dots and dragons. Let's discard the five crack. Here, let's pung. Let's see, or we could chow. If we pung, that would leave three, four with a potential chow here but the chow is with the remaining five crack so another thing that we could do is three four five chow right here three four five then here we would be left with a three four five or four five six in here four five six or five six seven let's go ahead and chow with three four five and leave ourselves with two potential chows so we're going to chow from the player on our left for west. Now we're committing, because we chowed, we're committing to cracks and honors. And we have all those singles we need to pair up. So there's an eight dot for discard. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw up here. One dot. We have one cracks out. Four bam has been discarded. We're going to throw that and draw for this player. Last tile, second wall, a bam. That's not a keeper. Okay, we got through the second wall. We're going into the third wall, which is the middle game. Three, two, one drawing for south north single honor these single honors really hurt you can't do much with them let's discard this three crack three crack here let's chow three four five three four five We'll discard the seven dot. Nobody can take seven dot. So up here, oh, we can pung. All pung, mixed suit is okay. That's three fawn. We're gonna pung. Pung. Okay, now we have all these single tiles. This could bring score. None of these are out. There's a five bam out, actually. Let's throw that. 
We need to pair up two more times here. Let's draw one BAM. That's a pretty safe tile. And we're going to draw four south. Four BAM, that's out. Drawing for west. Four crack, they got a good tile. Four, five, six chow. Let's discard this two dot. Two dot. It would be this player's turn. This player could pung, but I think we should have them play half flesh. We need three fawn. They have two flowers that are not theirs. We need a, a half flesh, which is three fawn. This two dot will kill their score. They only have two pair. I think we have to let it go. So two dot was thrown. They need to pair up. Let's draw. Three bam. That's not helpful. That's already out numerous times. Let's throw it. Three bam. Down here we're going to draw. We need a crack or an honor. Three dot. Okay, now they have three pair here. One, two, three. If we pair up one more time, we could at least pung. There are two souths out. Let's throw that and leave our options open. So we're going to draw now four south. Two crack. Nope, not helpful. We want dots. Nobody can take the two crack, so we'll draw for west. One dot. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw red. Red dragon, that could potentially bring score if we pair up. One dot was thrown. Let's discard that. Drawing four east. Five dot, that's not helpful. We need to pair up or get cracks and sacrifice these. Let's draw, wait, three, four, five, we can chow. Let's chow. Okay, there's an exposure there. Let's get rid of this four crack. Four crack. Now here, we could chow four, five, six, leaving this for maybe a pair. The challenge is that there are no more fours. So I wouldn't do that. There's two chows out with fours and a four was just discarded. So that would render this null. We would not be able to do anything with that unless we get maybe another chow potential with two other tiles. And it's getting a bit late in the game. So I would not take that. I'd rather take my chances and see if we could pair up. Nope, not helpful, four dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw for north. There's a white dragon. Let's get rid of this two bam. So we need to pair up these singles. Two bam, nobody can take. We're going to draw for east. They paired up east. That could help them. So now they have one, two, three, four pair. We need to try to get them to that all pung. Now there's one two dot out. There's one three dot out in a chow. Let's see here. A one crack pung is out. Let's throw that. So we're going to try to get them to all pung. Mix suit, all pung is okay. That's three fawn. And if we can pung that east, we can get a fawn there because that's their seat. So one crack was thrown. We're going to draw for south. Seven dot. If we're in dots, that's a good keeper for them. Okay, we have a seven, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, five, six, pair sevens. This is not going to help them. They don't have enough pair to leverage this offsuit pair. So let's discard seven bam. Focus on dots. Let's draw four west. Nine dot. That's not helpful. Drawing four north. Green dragon. Oh my goodness, all these singles. We need to just discard something here. Let's get rid of the north. Really, that, that's a pretty safe tile because it's only of value for this player. 
In this case, nobody's ready for it. We do have singles here, so nobody can do anything with it. Let's draw. Two dot, we got the two dot, look at that. There's a pung. If you draw into a concealed pung, just keep it secret, keep it concealed. Let's discard the north. So now there are two out. Let's draw for this player. Four dot, that's a keeper. Four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Let's get rid of the seven, bam. That was thrown, nobody wanted it, and this would be a good discard next. Let's draw for west. Nine crack. Let's keep the cracks. That's what they're focused on, cracks. They've got two chows out, so they're committed. We're going to discard the three dot, and that would be Pung right here. Pung for the player across from them. Pung. We're doing all Pung. So we need to Pung that east. We can get rid of these. Let's see what's out. There's a two crack out. Three cracks are in chows. Let's discard this two crack. No, we can take it. We're going to draw red dragon. So yeah, that's a good tile. They can pung that maybe. Let's discard the north. There's two out and that's the third one. That's now a safe discard. Drawing for west. Five crack, that's a keeper, maybe. There's a potential chow in there. That's isolated. Let's get rid of the north. Drawing four north. Two bam, that would be a discard. Drawing for east. Seven crack, that is a keeper. We could pung, pung. Let's get rid of the three crack, there are two out. So that's a good tile. We need to pung these. Let's go ahead and draw four south. Two bam. Nobody wants those. Drawing four west. Six crack. Four, five, six, four, or five, six, nine isolated. Let's see here. There's a chow, potential chow. They have two chows out. Let's get rid of these. Green Dragon. I think they have enough flexibility here to chow and be left with maybe a pair with the nine crack. So nobody could take the green, which is lucky for them. Let's draw. Four bam. Maybe that green would have been a better discard since it's safe. Okay, we're going to draw. Nine crack. They paired up again. So we have a Pung, pairs all in here. It really doesn't matter. Let's see what we have the best chance. All, none of these are out actually, none of them are. So I have been told that people will be more likely to discard terminals. So let's go ahead and break up either the seven or the eight. Or actually, this is actually Mahjong, but they would have no score because here they have seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. They have four sets in a pair, but because they're mixing chows with pungs in a different suit, they have no score. This would be called a chicken hand. They can't win. There's no way. We can't do that. We have to go with all pung. They've already committed to that. So we need to let something go here. Let's discard seven crack. This will be a good discard next time. Nobody could take seven crack. We're gonna draw four south. Six dot, that's a keeper. Four, five, six, pair or six, seven, eight, chow, chow. We need to pung that. Green dragon was thrown. Let's discard that. And up here we can draw. Two bam, that's a discard. This is a scary tile, it's risky, nothing's out. We're heading into the end of the middle game. Seven crack, that's a keeper. Six, seven, eight, five, six, seven. All the fives are out though, I think. There's 
two five cracks out in chows. Let's discard the green dragon. That's the third one out now. So we're gonna draw four east. Seven crack, oh shoot, we drew it. That would have been a pung. That would have been a pung, that's too bad. Can't go back. All right, here we go, drawing for south. Flower, one flower. Seven bam. Nine crack, they paired up. Four, five, six. Okay, so five, six. Let's discard this red dragon. They're ready on a four crack or a seven crack. Red dragon, and we're gonna pung down here. Pung. Pung. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the wrong player. That's here. We punged, so I almost messed that up. I put that in this player's discard pile or exposures. We want this player. So four, five, six, six, seven, eight, or pair potential chow. Let's get rid of the white dragon. They're ready to win on either a six dot or a nine dot. Let's see here. Yeah, six dot or nine dot or three dot because they could use this as a pair and get a three dot here. So that's a nice weight right there. Let's discard that white dragon. Ready to win, ready to win, one away two away. Six bam. Drawing four north. Nine bam. Drawing four east. White dragon was thrown. That's a good tile right there to discard. We just got through the middle game. No more third wall. We're going into fourth wall now. So we're into the end game now. Drawing for south, two crack. Drawing for west, green dragon. Drawing for north, white. They're ready to win. Five crack or eight crack. We're gonna discard the red dragon. Okay, ready to win, ready to win, ready to win. They need a three dot, six dot, or nine dot. This player needs four crack or six crack. This player needs a five crack or an eight crack. Three crack. We can discard that. Probably the seven crack might have been a better discard because there's already two out but nobody can take it. Drawing for south, five bam. Drawing for west, nine dot, discard. And that would be Mahjong for south. Three, four, five, or four, five, six. Pair sixes. So seven, eight, nine. We have a pung of dragons. Another chow in dots and flowers. One of their own. So we have half flush in dots. That's the refon. We have a mixture of chows and a pung. So we won't get all chow because of this dragon pung. So we have a half flush, which is three fawn. Dragon pung is a fawn, so that's four. And then we have our own flower, 
which is five. So this is a five fawn hand. Five fawn. Five fawn is 16 points. So whoever throws it pays double. This player threw it, so they pay 32 points. And these two players will pay 16 points each. Everybody started out in a really rough spot. Whenever you get mixed suits and just a couple of pairs or even one pair, it's a challenge to get to three fawn, as you could see. Towards the end of the middle game, though, three players were ready or close to ready, which is not bad for a three fawn minimum. And this is one reason why I like to play solitaire, because it helps me to practice decision making to get to those three fawn as quickly as possible. If you have a set at home, I hope you give it a try and I hope it helps you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.